Hi, this is hopefully a quick video on how to add NeoPixel slash W82812 style LEDs to a uh, Blink-1 USB notification light. So, tools I'll be using is soldering iron, some pliers, a little stick vise, and um, great care. <laughs> so first we need to take apart the Blink-1. Do that by springing open the plastic case and then sliding out the middle bit, like so. And then leveraging up the PCB and then sliding it out. Now this is free, we can stick it in this little vise for starting to the connections. Oh, but first, if you notice, there are three small holes here. These three holes correspond to the plus five ground and data connections that a NeoPixel has. The actual order is data plus five and ground. I'll put up a diagram for that in more detail. So put this in the vise like so. But first we need to prepare this little connector. And you'll notice the spacing is too wide for the holes. So what you need to do is narrow them down a little bit. So I'm just gonna use the pliers to bend them in slightly. And try to straighten them out at the very last moment. And so then they will go on like this. That's pretty close, probably good enough. I'm going to turn it over so I can tin the back. That'll make the solder or make the solder joint a little bit easier to deal with. And now we can this here. Yeah, maybe I'll arrange it around like this and lay it like this. First, let me get some more solder on my iron here. And so now, if we look, shouldn't be too many, too much badness on the back, and uh, it looks like there is no shorts. If you're concerned about shorts, you can take a multimeter and uh, start probing to see if there is anything amiss. There doesn't appear to be, and just verify. <laughs> kind of really does work. All right, so now, if we plug it back into power, but not connect to, to, to a computer, it should still work, and it does. And if we plug in the connections, so power is in the middle, ground, let me unwind this. It goes data, power, ground. And the fourth is unused. I could have cut that off or you could also jumper that over to make it easier to plug in strips directly. But now if we plug this in we should see the whole strip light up. Oh. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> the, reason that, the reason why that is is because the startup script only does the first two LEDs except when it's doing white. But when it does the white, it all lights up. Now if we plug this into the computer, we can now control them.
excuse me while I type on the command line. There we go. <laughs> and so now we have a bunch of random colors. And that's how to add extra LEDs to your Blink-1. Of course, you can't get it back in the case after you put this connector back on, but, um, but you can still plug a controller to many LEDs. Thanks.